All right, we're on board the 1987 Pacific Seacraft Creelock 34, located at Lakewood Yacht Club in Kima, Texas. As you can see here at the helm, we have a knot depth, little uh, GPS 182C. There's your autopilot, and over here is the control panel for the autopilot. We have two lockers in the cockpit. Over to starboard is a shallow locker. Pretty cleaned out. This is a good place to keep your winch handles and such. And to port, we have the deeper locker. The deep locker is used quite often for uh, life jackets, dock lines, fenders, that sort of stuff. And there's also batteries in this locker. This boat's in excellent shape. There's the backstay. This has a Questus backstay mounted radar. I'm going to work my way forward. I'm going to show you uh, first off, look at the finish on this wood. The wood has an excellent varnish. It was done a couple of years ago. It's getting ready to be retreated here in a couple of days. Not this part that's covered, but the, uh, the cap rails, which need a little bit of work, but not that much. It has the running backstays. This particular model is the Voyage Maker. He did have all the standing rigging and running rigging replaced about a year and a half ago, I guess. So you can see that all new running rigging. It's also all new standing rigging. Going forward, we have a new Harkin. There's a new staysail. And there's a new Harkin furling system with a new staysail on there. It has the manual anchor windlass. There's your anchor rollers forward. Pan around. Gel coat on this boat is in excellent shape. There's no crazing or signs of any cracking on, on deck. Looks like it was set up to have a whisker pole. He did, uh, in, in addition to replacing the standing and running rigging, he added to the mainsail a storm track. The track really makes it easy to raise and lower the sail. That in addition to the uh, lazy jack system. This boat is very easy to sail. It has a Raytheon radar. And as you see back here, everything's well labeled. All halyards and lines are led aft. This is the Voyage Maker series. This boat is being offered at ninety-six thousand nine hundred dollars. It's a great value for what all the current owner has done to it over the last few years. And it's listed with Sea Lake Yachts in Kima, Texas. You can reach us at SeaLakeYachts.com. Look at our website or email us SeaLake at SeaLakeYachts.com. Or call me, Doug Hughes, I'm the listing broker at 832-561-3344 for additional information. Please check out the full listing, again, at sealakeyachts.com. Thank you.